today we're in central Montgomery County. Now I'm not a statistician, but I can tell you that 100% of my days start with a great cup of coffee, which is why I come to Sammy's Bullfrog Cafe. Sam of Sammy's Bullfrog Cafe. Tell us what you guys do here. So here at Sammy's, we operate a breakfast and lunch cafe. We try to mix it up here and keep it a little different than the status quo breakfast and lunch items that you would find at other places. Me and my fiance, Kayla, in this place, locally in the restaurant business for over 15 years. We both grew up locally, went to high school locally. We've both been here our, basically our whole lives. You know, you can get bacon and eggs anywhere. Food-wise, everything has our own spin on it. We make everything here fresh every day. Produce about 90% comes from, you know, within 30 miles of here. I mean, you can look above us, you can look at my hand right now. Don't bother me, I'm crabby. I mean, yep. you've got donated cups yep. from customers from, I think you said, all over the place. Yeah. We first opened, we put up Facebook posts and social media posts saying that we were accepting mug donations and plate donations. Sometimes people come in and they donated a cup a year ago and they'll come in and get their cup and, you know, it's, it's good. When somebody walks in the door here, what do you want them to feel? Ready to eat. Right, happy and ready to eat, like they know what they're gonna get, it's gonna be good. Well, after I wake up from my food coma, we're gonna head to a place that's been in Montgomery County for over 100 years, but very clearly, I've got some work to do first. Chester Asher, Sophie Asher of Asher's Chocolates, thank you so much for having us. Tell us what you guys do here. So here at Asher's Chocolates, we are a retail confectioner, which means that we make candy centers and then we chocolate coat them. So that could be anything from a buttercream to a chocolate covered pretzel, which we're well known for. All of our candies are actually coated twice in chocolate. So it's not just chocolate covered, it is chocolate smothered. I love the sea salt caramels. They're personally my favorite piece. It's the perfect combination of salty and sweet. You guys are the fifth generation of Asher's who have helped build this company from the ground up. What does that tradition mean to you? History is very important, right down to my namesake, Chester Asher, who started the company in 1892. You don't see a lot of companies, especially family-owned companies, that have made it this far. We're selling the same products. We go back to even the stuff that we were selling 100 years ago, so you get that consistency. We've made it through depressions, world wars. Everyone always needs candy, needs chocolate, something to get them through that. It's been consistent. I can say unequivocally, chocolate is definitely in my family. Oh yeah. A new day means new stops in central Montgomery County. Did you know Monco has over 20 breweries? It's a ton of suds. We gotta figure out how some of that's made. You have a lot of going on here. Tell us what goes on here. We make a lot of different beers creative beers, unique beers. Our labels, we wanted them to represent that. If we're gonna make a smoogee, we then take fruit into another vessel and we transfer the beer onto the fruit. We circulate that, blend that up basically. And this is a labor of, of love, as I understand it. The two of you started separately making beer in your garages. There's so much that goes into making a craft beer. But take me through all that. So we buy grains of oat, wheat, barley, we throw them in the mill. We add a lot of hot water to that. All the starches that are in those grains become sugars. We'll add our hops, and then we knock it out into a fermenter, and that creates alcohol and CO2, and we let the yeast make beer. Finally, we package it into cans, into kegs, into crowlers, and then we sell those. Obviously, you guys are a local brewer. Talk a little bit about why this community means so much to your success as well. We're successful because of our community, because of our customers. Making beer and enjoying what we do is great, but we take more pride in giving back to the community. That was amazing, but we have one more stop in store. We had to come down the main drag of 202 to El Serape for some amazing, authentic Mexican cuisine and some great cocktails. Luis, thank you so much for having us here. This is, an, uh, for lack of a better term, an experiment that you started almost 30 years ago. You have three locations. Two in Montgomery County, one in Bucks County. Those are the three locations that we have. What do you attribute that success to? Community. It was hard in the beginning because a lot of people didn't have the knowledge of the cuisine. So little by little we start, you know, 
kind of educating people about our cuisine, where we're from. What does authentic Mexican food mean to you? When you bring really the culture, the earthy kind of uh, flavors. All my chefs are Mexican. Oh. Now they go to Mexico, believe it or not, and they try new ideas, they bring new ideas because they have different expertise, different region, and that's what is really helping us also to keep the, the authenticity of the flavor, that's, that's the key. You guys are renowned for your cocktails. And margaritas. Some of, <laughs> and margaritas. We make on pineapple margarita here in Cows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're what you want, okay, all right. A little hip movement. Oh yeah, that's great. We've had breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, proving that the central part of Montgomery County truly does have it all. And these are just some of the small businesses that make it Main Street. Cheers. <laughs>